Okay. Alexa, play Don't Look Back in Anger. Side the eye of your mind Don't you know you might find A better place to play You say that you've never been All the things that you've seen Really fade away So Sally can't wait She knows it's too late and she's walking on by. We teach them how to be resourceful. So if you don't know the answer, we, we teach them how to go get the answer. Ask Alexa, ask Google, right? Uh, and it's easy this, this day and age where you could just speak instead of having to type something. So he knows what button to press and I'll ask Siri, what is so-and-so? And then it'll, all the material will come in front of him. There'll be a video or whatever and he'll watch it and learn about it. And then you make a big seat. Surprise! <laughs> Welcome to my room! Uh, I love my favorite books are, are my human body book <laughs> and the, the universe. I also like Marshalls and the Elements, and Periodic Table Book, Encyclopedia of Everything, I love it. Uh, he was in the shopping cart, sitting in the seat, and there was a girl that wearing a, a, a medical a medical shirt. And so we, we started a conversation. I was asking her, oh, what, what school do you go to? And, and she said, I'm at Morehouse College studying medicine. Anson jumped into the conversation. He says, oh, you're studying to be a doctor. And so she found out to be pretty, pretty amazing. She goes, oh, I'm studying, I'm studying neurology. He's like, oh, so you like the brain. I like the immune system. And she was like, what? <laughs> What's, how does he know this? So she started asking him questions. And he started talking. Mm -hmm. What type of nerves do you have in your brain? The, med the medulla is also called the brain stem. Yes. What does it do? Do you know? It takes no. It takes nerve signals to the motor nerve. The motor nerves carry the, the, the nerve signals from the brain mm -hmm. to the parts of the body. Yes. So the, that online video that went viral, the girl who filmed that, she has a friend from high school that were friends on Facebook, and she saw that video. And then she reached out to us through Facebook and wanted to meet Anson and do a story on him. And that's how it developed. And then it, it then became, hey, we, we, we want to have Anson be what they call an outside talent, that they want to do some videos and, and, and build a brand off of. First, your skin is the protective layer. Without it, bacteria would enter you and kill you. But series, series is lucky, has craters. Then it travels through to the sea gun, right here. The first law of defense is your skin. The second law of defense are macrophages, powerful guard cells that put protect all organs from intruders. He, he wants to know how things work. And he has, he's really good at understanding and connecting the dots with other things. What I did was I buy him a lot of books and even books are way advanced, such as when he's two years old, I let him read like a, you know, first grade book. He loves to learn. And the more I give him, the more he wants and the more he absorbs it. And then he goes through the whole book and he wants more. Ready? Yeah. Action! This is the human body. Your, your lungs are, are when you breathe. The oxygen travels into your lungs and the red blood cells tra travel to your lungs as well. I like a lot of biology because biology is about the human body and what to make a machine that, that could like cure cancer. 
and detect it in our everyday life. Five percent of it can be caused by genetic mutations, with, which means if anyone in your family has it, that's very likely for you to have it too. Oh uh, but only five, but that's only five percent chance. But but there's another ninety-five percent chance that that you'll get it from from genetic from um from the outside world. Yeah. When they found us like the transport. To transform cells, they release MP1 and MP2 enzymes. I'll tell you what, what that is later. Really, one day I spent time with him in, in his room when he was, uh, I think, 14 months, 13 months old. Then we just, we always go, I always teach him ABCs and, you know, one, two, three. So I started saying A, and then he crossed to it. He pulls it out. And then I said, wait a minute, that's a coincidence, right? And I say B, he does the same thing. And C, D, and he literally point out all the letters to me and zero to, you know, nine, he knows all the numbers. And that's when I said, wow, honey, this is not a joke. Mm -hmm. Test him. Hey, Hi. come on my K. Okay, yes, where's G? Where's G? G, where is O? O. Where's O? That's O, yeah. We let him do pretty much whatever he wants to do. Yeah. A lot of parents have a specific schedule for their kid. Yeah, when it's time to study, when it's time to eat, when it's time to sleep. With Anson, we have the mindset of letting him just free flow. He can read when he wants to, he can play when he wants to, he can eat if he doesn't want to eat, if he's whenever he wants to sleep. Obviously, we have a limit. We, we if, if it's past 10, we'll tell him, come on, you got to go to bed. I think our philosophy for parenting is to keep him, keep him curious, um, teach him how to be resourceful, and then always encouragement. And we don't restrict him. Again, we don't restrict him and force him on a schedule. I, I really love books. I started reading since I was one and a half years old. Uh, I also watch videos on, on uh, online. So I'll find one of the videos. Oh, I don't have internet. Oh, back online. I, I, 